Hello guys, I'm Roxy, the newest employee at Altitude, the base camp and climbing star at the Anaconda Mountain Range. I'm ex so excited to see you all and I have something amazing to tell you. I just found out that Jesus comforts us, always. It's his promise to us. I also learned that because we're followers of Christ, we too should comfort others. I definitely struggled with this at first. I didn't have the best advice for some of my friends who were stuck in a blizzard. Luckily, my boss, Emmy Cliff, told me that our true source of comfort comes from Jesus, which is so cool. That reminds me, this week's beatitude is, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This is Jesus' promise to us. You know what, guys? I'm so thankful that Jesus made this promise. Why don't we sing a song of worship?
today we have some more special guests that will help me with my experiments. Why don't you guys come on in? Perfect. Can you guys tell us your names? I'm Connor and this is Liam. Hi Connor and Liam. Are you guys ready to see a super cool experiment? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, show you now, okay? So have you, have you guys ever felt like this? A little bit scared? Yeah, I felt scared too. And you know who else felt scared? Our friends Cam and Grigri. They were super scared because they were stuck in a snowstorm. Would that be scary? Stuck in a snowstorm with just a tent? Right, so they were pretty scared. And they didn't know what to do. They didn't know who would comfort them. It was super scary. But you guys want to see something really cool? Okay, check this out. We're just going to turn it on. See, this heart appeared. It's just like God's comfort. Just because we don't always think it's there or see it, it doesn't mean that it's not. We just have to look for it in the Bible. So now, are you guys ready to try the experiment yourselves? Okay, so the first step is you guys can take your paper. Yep, the paper. You guys can each grab a piece. Good job, Liam. Perfect. Okay, now you guys are gonna draw. Can you guys draw a scared face on your paper? So draw a face that's either super scared or super sad. Mad. Yeah, you can draw a mad face too. Oh, that looks awesome, Connor. That looks good, Liam. Boys, those look great. Why don't you show the camera your pictures? Perfect. That looks awesome. So when we're scared, it sometimes feels like we're all alone, right? But we need to remember that Jesus is always with us. To help us remember that, we're gonna draw an invisible heart around our scared face. So what I need you guys to do is I want you guys to each Grab a lemon in your hand. You grab a lemon. Perfect, Liam. Yeah. And then in the bowl, you're gonna squeeze the lemon juice into the bowl. Okay. Now our next step, what we're gonna do is you guys are gonna take a Q-tip. Can you take it? Perfect. And you're gonna dip it into the lemon juice. Great work. Okay. Now, around your guys' face, you guys are gonna draw a heart. So it's not gonna look like you're drawing anything, but we're just gonna have to trust it, okay? Great work, boys, that looks awesome. So right now we can't really see anything on the paper, but we're gonna do something pretty cool. So we're gonna have your dad come here and help us out with this. <laughs> Wow, boys, it looks so cool. Connor and Liam, why don't you guys grab your art and you can show it to the camera, to our friends at home. Wow, guys, that looks so cool. And you know, these hearts can remind us that even when we're scared and we're sad, Jesus is still there. He's always with us and he always loves us. He comforts us, which is super, super cool. And you know, I think after learning this lesson, I'm gonna be much better at helping comfort my friends Cam and Grigri next time they call down from the mountain. So that's all for now, boys. Bye. Well, I had so much fun here with Connor and Liam uh, doing my hands-on experiments. Come join us next week to see more hands-on experiments here at Altitude. See you later.